Hello everyone, I am Xerix Lord Sentinel, and welcome back to Century of Economy. The pirates and cursed have gone to war, and the English have been eliminated. Now, on to the action. The El Dorado is able to just reach the Spanish home island with her hoist, and unload her cargo of metals. She then uses her hoist arm to move the metals on La Monarca to the home island as well. The Buscador has one mast up, but has used her hoist arm to move the treasure to the San Cristobal. The Cristobal is frozen for a turn as plunder takes effect, but the treasure is now in a much larger and well-armed ship. The Annunciata explores the English home island, and finds two chests. The Phantom takes two masts off of the Silver Dagger, and S-boards her successfully, capturing all of her crew. The Dutchman uses an extra action on her first turn to completely dismash the Raven's neck. Elsewhere, Morgul intervenes in the Sea Nymph's pursuit of Maxa Hibbel succeeding with a soup attack against the pirate ship. At the end of their turn, the cursed spend what little gold they have left to put El Phantasma from Ocean's Edge, a cannoneer, and four explorers on the Guishan, to make her more of a threat. They also launch the Grim Reaper, with the captain, helmsman, and firepot specialist. The Grim Reaper is hiding on the starboard side of the Guishan. They also build their custom fort, Aguinvari Gakali, on a reef near the Archway Island. The fort's construction will allow the various sea monsters the Cursed have spawned to repair and regenerate lost segments. The Americans continue to gather piecemeal amounts of gold. They eye the Spanish with growing concern. In stark contrast, the French are doing very well, with two of the most valuable resources in close proximity, and a trading deal made with the pirates. La Vengeance explores the western portal, finding nothing of note, but keeping a watchful eye out for any Spaniards. The pirates attack back, slaying the titan Brachuria and reducing the phantom to two masts standing. A combination of the Zeus and the Revenant sink the phantom, but not for good. Her Eternal sends her right back to the cursed home island. A wider shot of the cursed home island. Mavra's steed has been set on fire, as well as the Abomination and Nocturne, whose burning form is visible in the background. The Spanish continue to rake in the gold, stockpiling some of their metals. Intermediara and the Lady Provost have been tasked with exploring Voya Nui. The squid will use its ability to send a coin to the Provost, allowing the ship to dodge the Loa's Wrath UT. The mercenary squad heads north, but also angles back to some of the docks at the Lagoon Island. The Spanish have a hankering to add some crew to some of the subs. The cursed strike back at the pirates. Morgul succeeds at another soup attack, this one levied at the Bruja. Kalos and the Grim Reaper have eliminated two masts from the Revenant, and given her a fire mast. The Dutchman has had a terrible day at the cannons, after succeeding with her extra action, managing only to derelict the Silver Dagger. Squallow can be seen in the left of the frame, still carrying the Plague UT. The Cursed are thinking of a way to weaponize the Plague, but not leave it in pirate hands. A wider shot shows that the Phantom has begun repairing, sacking a captured crew to repair two masts at once. The Abomination has docked home, sinking the pride in the process. The Americans go about their business as the Baochuan attempts to get back to pirate waters. The French once again transform their piles of gold into much more manageable hundred value coins. Several of these coins are now on the French home island. Some of them are worth two or even three hundred gold. For all their attacking and war with the cursed, the pirates still have an excellent gold fleet in operation. Their colony has been upgraded to level five, with the doom box providing additional security to the island. Teaming up and coordinating their ships excellently, the Zeus sails quarter broadsides to the Flying Dutchman, cancelling her Eternal and then sinking her. Kalos is reduced to a single segment, while the rest of the Cursed reel from the loss of the Dutchman. A different angle shows that the Revenant and Bruja are in the midst of escape, while even more pirate ships are on their way. Both Black Pearls arrive on the scene, with one taking Maxa Hibble down to a single segment. First the Terror, then the Ranger and Davy Jones' Curse Harbinger emerge from the whirlpool south of the eastern portal. The pirates have managed to get even more ships into the area to contain and exterminate the cursed. The Harbinger is given an extra action and eliminates the Death's Anchor Flotilla, which has been providing cover to the cursed canoes going to and from the Triangle Island. A wide shot of the entire area, the cursed are being forced into a corner, with no gold left to them and few actual ships on the water. The cursed are beginning to realize that spawning all of their sea creatures may not have been the best idea. The pirates end their turn by spawning some creatures of their own, 
Angelica comes into play at the colony, while Aphidius is spawned at the Pyramid Island. It was once again time for resources to change. The dice were rolled, with a 5 coming up for value again, and a 7 coming up for duration. This is not good news for the Cursed, who have been relying on the high value of metals to stay afloat. In worse news for them, the pirates have access to not one, but both of the high value resources. A storm captures the Cyclone, but the Cursed Galley is exceptionally lucky, rolling a 1 to stave off Doom. Interradiara and the Provost find fruit. This irritates the Spanish, but they are glad that it was not something worse. The crystal ball makes it home and unloads the treasure found in the lagoon. Two 100 value coins, a sparkly silver 5, two sparkly silver 3s, and a sparkly silver 1. The Spanish use the spices to double the value of one of the 100 coins, netting themselves over 300 gold at once. They immediately spend a good chunk of that gold to put more hired help and some of their own into the water at the lagoon island. Celtic Fury, with linked Eileen Bridget O'Brien, Commandant Adam del Toros, a helmsman, cannoneer, musketeer, and oarsman. The Shuizian, with Luke Savard, Ibrahan Ozat, Captain Nemo, a helmsman and oarsman. The Cantabrian, with Sebastian de Alva. As well as Air Flux and Queen Teresa Pavan for the Nautilus and Hephaestus. The Forza de Dios is launched at the Hidden Cove, with Almirante Alejandro Garcia Fernandez, a supercrew who combines the captain, helmsman, and fleet admirability into one crew. Also aboard are a cannoneer, firepot specialist, and oarsman. The gooey Sean Saxon explorer and charges headfirst at the Zeus. Surprisingly, the Zeus does not cancel the captain ability of the gooey Sean for either of the gooey Sean's actions. However, the gooey Sean does not manage to do much damage, eliminating only one match from the Zeus after ramming headlong into her. The boarding action results in a loss for the gooey Sean, denying the headhunter the chance to demolish the Zeus's crew. The Phantom sacks a capture crew and zips out to engage both of the Black Pearls. The Phantom does not eliminate any masts, but S-boards several ships, and succeeds each time, capturing a boatload of crew. Morgrill is called to oversee Agunvari Gakaldi and the surrounding territory. The Cursed are hoping that the dragon's tough hide will keep the pirates at bay. The Americans spawn Kalima with the Baraki Talisman, giving them a second super sea monster. The Cheyenne arrives in pirate waters, and begins to break up icebergs. The Americans and pirates have made a deal. If the Americans destroy some icebergs for the pirates, the pirates will pay the Americans a hundred gold. The French continue on with their business, so far uninvolved in the conflicts around them. The Vengeance and Lion are returning from their expeditions through the portal. Also, almost all of French territory is visible. The Enfant Terrible looks for a buried chest at the French gold island, but finds none. The pirates once again coordinate their ships, with the pride and golden Medusa managing several hits on the Guishan, including a fire mast. The Revenant slams into the Grim Reaper, and succeeds in dismasting the ship. The Phantom is made derelict by the remaining Black Pearl and the Sisters Rage. Again, the Cursed are not too concerned, given the ship's eternal ability. The Harbinger sails astern of the Guishan, eliminating more masts, and giving her another fire mast. The Harbinger is given a second action and takes the Guishan down to two masts standing. The Terror gets into position, eliminating one mast. She is given a second action and sinks the Guishan. The Zeus is given an action and turns port side, canceling Nocturne to the surface and killing the beast. Elsewhere, the Grim Reaper is sunk. Truly a red day for the Cursed. At the end of their turn, the pirates launch the Prussian Crown with Bonnie Peel, the Ocean's Edge version of Shipping Sai, and a helmsman. The Spanish hired forces turn their bows and sail in a generally north direction, toward the Americans. Intermediaro gifts a Barbary banner to the Lady Provost. At the end of their turn, the Spanish spend all remaining gold they had to purchase a town and port upgrade, as well as a sizable launch from Hidden Cove Island. The Grand Dynasty with Captain, Helmsman, Cannoneer, and Musketeer. The Grand Temple with Dragon Eyes and his linked nameless crew, Helmsman and Cannoneer. The Grand Mountain, with Captain, Helmsman, Cannoneer, and Musketeer. The Grand Wind, with Zheng Li Quan, Captain, Helmsman, Cannoneer, and Phi Oarsman. The Grand Path, with Shiping Sai, linked with Ms. Cheng, Captain, Helmsman, Qian Ni, Cannoneer, and Oarsman. The Jin Wang Chao, proxied by HMS Grand Temple, with linked Emperor Shan Ra, 
captain, helmsman, cannoneer, and oarsman. With that, the Spanish have put every single six-mast ship they could get their hands on into the water. Suro used his L-moving ability again, and in an attempt to annoy the pirates, he sends the Cheyenne to the Southern Ocean, far away from the icebergs that the pirates want destroyed. The Americans strike. Deciding to strike first, the Americans send the Venture south, where she uses her extended range and multiple shots per mast to sink the Mobilis. The Spanish are infuriated at the loss of their hired submarine. Knowing that they have poked the beast, the Americans launch the USS Vengeance, a ship with the captain and same action twice ability built in. On board is Commander Tyler Robinson, a helmsman and an oarsman. Though badly damaged, the sea nymph docks and explores an island partially obscured by a reef, loading both of the coins that were on the island. Unbeknownst to the cursed, one of those coins was a 100 value coin, like the Spanish found in the lagoon. The Spanish main harbinger is called into service to take the Raven's Neck out of dangerous waters. Both ships appear back at the pirate home island. The pirates now have a 100 coin like the French. Turning north, the Zeus uses an extra action in Tia Dalma's canceling to bring Squallow to the surface, making quick work of the shark, and sinking any hopes the cursed had of using plague as a weapon. A wide shot of cursed waters shows the dominant presence the pirates have established. Multiple ships patrol the area around the cursed home island which was grown in anticipation of their sea creature launch. The Abomination is down to one mast and is on fire, while the Serpent's Fang is fully repaired but choosing to stay docked. The Phantom is repairing yet again and has become the Cursed's best weapon against the pirates, and their only way to counter Tia Dalma on the Zeus. The Harbinger, Feathered Hat, and Jape are immediate threats around the Cursed Home Island. However, lurking in the background with the damaged Revenant and Zeus is the Carnage, with her linked crew, One-Handed John. In the foreground, Kalos has sought shelter on the cursed home island. The Prussian crown shoots at the submerged Jormungandr with her sub-hunting ability. The sea nymph tows the accused to the safety of the Pyramid Island. At the end of their turn, the pirates build Dead Met's point on the island that the sea nymph explored, giving them a launch point and a place to repair their ships locally to the cursed. They also launch the Lacan 2 and Scarlet Star at their home island. And that wraps up this report. The Cursed are rapidly looking to be the second faction eliminated, but they intend to make it as difficult as possible for the pirates. The Americans have struck at the Spanish, who are likely to retaliate with little to no mercy. If you want to see what happens next, make sure you're subscribed. If you liked what you saw, hit that like button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.